Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to show you guys how to graph a time plot, which is uh, quite a important skill in queuing. So if you guys remember last lesson we showed you how to, well a few lessons ago we showed you how to draw a time plot in terms of creating a table just like this right all this stuff we're now going to graph it okay and the whole point of graphing a time plot is to get a better idea about the situation so when you're reading a table like this you probably can't see for example very obvious um, in a very obvious way how long each um, how long each person is sitting in the queue how long they wait for, when they are arriving, it's not very obvious but when you convert it into a time, pl time plot graph it becomes very obvious. So this is how you draw a time plot graph. right? Obviously the first thing you need in any graph is the x and the y axis so let's do that. Okay the next thing you want to do is on the x axis put down the time in minutes and obviously we have for example zero minutes we got one two three four and so on now hopefully your scale is consistent so mine's not very consistent there's some bigger gaps than others that's not very good in a graph and then for the y-axis I want the customers okay and I want the customers so let's put A, B, C and all that okay so I got A, B, C, D, E, F, G okay so let's start by doing the first person now the arrival is shown with a dot so if I do a little bit of a key on the right key arrival is shown by a dot so customer A arrives on the zeroth minute put a dot here All right and then who else do I have customer B arrives at 9.03 so 9.03 let's put a dot And 906 is customer C arrives. Uh, 909 customer D arrives, and so on. Customer D arrives. Okay, then what I want to do is just put an empty rectangle to represent waiting time waiting time so the time they spend waiting until they're served customer A doesn't wait at all okay so let's just skip waiting time and then I want a solid rectangle for service time alright solid rectangle for service so when A arrives there's no one else in the queue so they are being served straight away and what do we say about how long it takes four minutes All right so we go one two three four we go serve for four minutes and they're gone and now we don't even need to look at the table to draw the rest because we know that customer B has to wait till customer A leaves. So when customer A is still being served from the third minute to the fourth minute, customer B has to wait during that time. Once customer A is gone, then customer B is now being served for four minutes. So one, two, three, four. So they are being served all the way to the eighth minute. Uh, and if you match it up with our time plot, 
customer B is is being served from four, five, six, seven. So yep, starting from four, they're being served four, five, six, seven. So on the eighth minute, they're gone. Okay, so customer C will now have to wait until customer B is gone, and then they're served for four minutes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So 12th minute, then they leave, and then customer D will have to wait till customer C leaves. And then they start being served one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, so you can see each customer is now waiting longer and longer, which proves the other uh, th the other lesson when we talked about the queue is going to grow longer and longer. That is definitely shown already in this time plot. Okay, because you have people uh, waiting longer and longer in the queue. Uh, but right now, there is so far only one person in the queue. If we kept this going, we'll have... Actually, let's just show you what it looks like when there's two people in the queue. So customer E arrives at 12, right? So 3, 6, 9, 12. Customer E arrives here. And they're going to wait this long before they can be served. So um, 17, 18, 19, 20. So they're being served for another four minutes. And then customer F arrives at 15. So now there are two people in the queue. Right, because customer E is still waiting and customer F has to wait all the way till customer E is done. So during this point in time, between the time is 15 till the time is 16, there were two people in the queue, as you can see in this section. In this section here, between time is 15 and time is 16, D was being served. E and F are both still waiting in the queue. Okay, so the question could be something like, question. How many people are waiting in the queue at 9.15? So this, if you guys remember, is 9 a.m. at the start. So at 9.15, there was customer E and F were both waiting in the queue. So E and F, two people, two people waiting in the queue, okay? So that's basically how you construct a time plot graph. I hope this helps you guys to uh, do this question. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.